Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to create an amazing custom setup on your iOS 26 device. We're talking about icons with 3D looks, different themes that you can install on your device, also custom icons and secret widgets as well, which all of these of course will make your device look totally different running the new iOS 26. Now before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are still not subscribed to the channel, so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, make sure you hit that subscribe button, it really helps out a lot. Now first of all, we're talking about widgets. So if I go here, you can see I have a widget and right there at the top I also have a stack of widgets which you cannot actually notice. Now with the new iOS 26, the only thing you will see right there is the reflection on the borders of the widgets. But I can swipe like this to re reveal my widgets. As easy as that, swipe again to actually hide it. And I can go ahead and add other widgets to this stack as easy as that tap the dumb button, there's the widget whenever I need it, but if I just want to have a clean look on the home screen, I can just go ahead, swipe like that, and actually hide everything from the home screen. How cool is that? It is actually very easy to create, and I will show you guys how to do that. Now the first thing you want to do is install this free app from the App Store. It is called YidGet. It is free. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video. You install the app and once you have done that, all you have to do is just head on to your home screen and right here just tap and hold to go to the edit mode and then swipe to the last page where you have no icons left. You go ahead and take a screenshot right here. Once you have done that, you go into the app and tap on create and load the screenshot you just took. So you tap right there and load the screenshot and now you're good to go. Once you have loaded that, you will see something like this. So you can select the screenshot that you have taken right here. So just select it like this, make sure it's with this like orange border right there. Once you have done that, you just go ahead add to the home screen the widget from this app. So there we have the widget from this app. We go ahead and add it to the home screen. And all you have to do now is just choose the location where you want to place the widget. So if I place it right here, then just tap on the widget, choose the position. So we have bottom right right here and we're good to go. Now you can see that will blend in. And once I add the other widgets above this, then I can go ahead and create that stack. And once I move on the stack and come to this widget, then all we have here is a clean looking home screen with the widgets actually hiding underneath this one. And now let me show you guys how to install complete themes of apps on your device running the new iOS 26. Now for that, you will need to head on to the app store and install this app called Maloco. This is a pretty cool app that allows you to do just that. So all you have to do here is go to the gallery section where you will find all the different themes added on this app. So you can see right here, we have a bunch of different themes that we can download. So at the top right there, you will find some trending ones. Here you have all the different themes that you can get. So let's go with this iOS 6 classic one. It is pretty cool. So all we have to do here is just tap install system icons, wait here for a second and tap on allow. And now head on to your settings at the top of your settings. You will see the profile from this theme. Just go ahead and install it. So once you go to your settings, you will see the profile. As I said, you tap on install, add your passcode. And you can see now the profile has been installed. So tap install again right here and then just go back. And as you can see right there, here we have the icons for iOS 26, but we have iOS 6 icons and they do work. So if I tap on the app store right there, you can see it does open the app store. How cool is that? You can actually have these classic iOS 6 icons on your iOS 26 device. It is really awesome and it looks of course really different and the icons are of course top quality. Now what you can do if you want to remove this, all you have to do is just go back to the profile that you have installed. You can find the profile under settings, general VPN and device management. You go here, remove the profile, add your passcode again, 
tap on remove right here and as easy as that you can go ahead and remove all those icons at once from your device now what you can do with this app is that you can also create your own custom icons you go to icons right here and they have a really nice ui right here a really easy way to create your icons you tap the plus button and you can choose here the backgrounds the symbols and the frame as well if you want to add a frame to your icon so the background right here have a different like solid colors gradients or you can even add your own image so you tap right here you can load any image that you have on your camera roll and add it as the background for your icon and then you can of course go ahead and add the symbols so you will have all kinds of symbols right here like you can add different letters you can add different symbols from from weather for example you will have filled ones you can see how cool is that so all kinds of different categories of symbols right here and a lot to choose from and of course while adding letters you can go ahead and change here the colors the gradient and all that stuff so again really really awesome and a very easy way to create your own icons tap the done button and then you will have your icon you can go ahead and save it to the camera roll if you want to apply it to any of your apps using the shortcuts method of course which is again used a lot on ios now with your own icons and now let me show you guys how to get this amazing 3d look on the home screen of your device you can see we have those shadows with that depth it really makes the icons look really different it makes the home screen look totally different and if we go here and go to customize you can see it will look good with everything like dark icons light icons even the new transparent icons you can see how cool that looks you will have that really nice 3d effect on your home screen even with tinted icons you can go ahead and tint these to any color you want it will always look amazing on your home screen so you can see how cool that looks so it's actually a process you will have to follow it might seem complicated but it's not that complicated now first of all you will need of course a wallpaper that you want to add to your home screen and you want to apply this effect too the next thing you want to do is make sure you go ahead and download a shortcut that i will leave linked right down below in the description of the video so let's go to shortcuts here we have home screen creator this is the shortcut we're using so the first time you add the shortcut cut all you have to do is run it now while running this shortcut you will see a lot of pop-ups asking you to allow things just tap allow on each of them and then you will come to this part right here this is the part where you have to select your wallpaper tap on select photo and once you select your wallpaper it will give you a preview of your wallpaper you tap done right here and then go ahead and tap on add elements now right here it will take you to your files app where it will have saved like the shadows and everything that will add to your wallpapers once you install the shortcut those are saved automatically so you tap ok and it takes you to your files app so you go to your files under like on your iphone under downloads you will find a folder called hsc that's the folder where you will find everything so you need to go to content and if you want to add shadows for icons you go here you will have all kinds of different shadows different bumps that you can add to your icons now for this video i'm using depths long this folder right here now if you're using a page with all icons no widgets you can just tap right there to add like icons dev like uh, shadows for all of the icons but if you're using a, like a widget then you will have to use these like smaller parts right here to actually add multiple of those so you can create the same setup that you have on the home screen so in this case i have icons here here and here and then i have a small widget right here in the bottom right so this is how you do it in that case so we choose the top icons first and then add another layer then we choose the middle icons and then we add another layer right here just tap yes and then we choose these like icons that we have on the bottom left because on the bottom right we have a widget then tap the done button tap to add another layer now when we go back here we go back and get out of the icons folder and we go to the widgets now and here i can go ahead and add a border add a frame or something like that for my widget so in this case i want to add like a shadow i can go here so i will have to choose uh, the bottom right one so choose it right there and now i have the setup completed this will be added to my wallpaper and when i apply it to the home screen we get that awesome look. 
So we tap the done button right here. Now what you can do is actually save this layout. Everything that we created right here can be saved. So the next time we want to change the wallpaper and add these effects to the other wallpaper, we don't have to do the process, we just load this layout. So let's just go ahead and save the layout. Tap the done button right here, tap no here, tap done again, and then we can go ahead and save the layout to the files, add a name here, and we're good to go. And now we can also save this to the photos, the wallpaper we just created, okay, it's done, so let's just tap exit right there. And then we have the wallpaper we just created. Now all we have to do is go ahead and set it as a home screen wallpaper, and we will get this awesome look. Now, if you save the layout and you want to apply it to another wallpaper later, that will be very easy. So let me show you how you do that. Tap again right here and just select your image. Once you have selected the wallpaper you want to use, you tap done right here. And instead of adding elements, now you have a layout. You just tap right there, tap OK, and go back here to the main section of the files from this shortcut and you will have a folder for layouts and then there we have the layouts we have saved this is the one we just saved and again you can see in a couple of clicks we have the same results but now of course much much faster so this is how you create this amazing 3d look on the home screen of your device so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed it leave a like if you did everything you need for these setups will be right down below in the description of the video and i'll see you on the next one